Good evening, everyone. It is Tuesday, July 7th, 2020. I'm going to do a quick walk around. Give you all an idea of what's been going on. Growing some beautiful grass here that I need to cut again. Um, boys and berries are doing really well. We even got some clover in there. I need to get this thing taken down and a new one put up over here. Still got to put the grommets in it. Got the crooked box going on um, being filled up with dirt and such. All the twigs. Our nectarine tree has decided to uh, leaf out, which is awesome. And our peach tree has not, which is interesting. So I'm not sure what's going on with that one. We'll see. Maybe give it a year, and if not, I'll uh, call Stark Brothers Nursery back, find out what's going on. I've had some really pretty flowers coming up and doing stuff. I need to weed everywhere, just so everybody knows. Um, and apparently a dog dug a hole right here. Hopefully there was nothing else in there. I forgot that I had left this open earlier. Um, so there's Papa's peach tree right there. A uh, tomato plant that's dying. It's getting too much sun. I'm not sure what this is. I thought at first that it was a... It's supposed to be a flower. It looks like a pepper plant to me, but I'm not sure. This is about to flower, whatever flower it is. And this one over here has flowered. I don't know if you can see that. It's really pretty, like little uh, dragon faces and stuff. It's really pretty. Um, the blackberries are doing wonderfully this year. Coming back in full force. So that's really good now that we've got them uh, not protected from the sun. This guy's getting too much sun. I'm going to move him and see how this tomato's taking a hit. Too much sun here too. I put an ochre in over here just a couple days ago and one stalk of corn. So we'll see how they do, where they're at. Um, let me close this so nobody gets in there and digs around and stuff again. The uh, trellising squashes are doing really well. You know, as you can see over here, they're uh, taking off, doing real good. So that's a positive, right? Strawberries are doing good, and all the kale is still doing well. These castor beans are huge, prehistoric. Sam was in here the other day, and I took a picture, and you couldn't even see her uh, walking behind them. They're so big, they hide her from being back here, from being able to see her back here, I should say. This little tomato plant is doing really well. It's getting just about as much sun. I guess maybe it's protected in the afternoon from the sun, but uh, it's doing good, flowering. Hubbard squash seems to be dying back a little bit, but yet you know, it's still growing and doing well. It's getting too much sun again, I believe. And then we had this happen. This is a sunflower that we got out of the box of blessing. We got the seeds out of the box of, box of blessing that uh, we got from Papa Pepper. And it literally has three blooms on it all at once. Fourth one opening right there. And at least two more, maybe three more heads still about to pop up. So I don't know if that's some new type of sunflower that we're dealing with but I've never seen that multiple head um, type flowering one before and then we got a couple of new ones right there 
going to town. Um, just spotted a Mexican beetle. I'm going to get rid of him. Today is Tuesday. I'm planning on, um, hi Bobby. Planning on, um, neem oiling again on Saturday, but that's quite a ways away, so we'll see how that works. And then we got this guy. Oh, look at that. You catch that? Yeah. It's really pretty, huh? Bees are coming around. At least for the sunflowers. Seems like everything else is being uh, pollinated by ants, but we'll see. Hopefully we'll get some pollination out of some bees too this year. We have a watermelon growing down there. It doesn't look very healthy all of a sudden, but it's there. And hopefully we got a few more in there too. I might need to neem oil sooner than later. We'll see. All the greens are trying to come back. Um, a couple sets of them are just done. Not looking very good at all. And then we have the lemon tree we put in the ground doing really, really well. Along with Polly, the pomegranate tree that you can't see. Oh, and the Malabar spinach. It's doing well too. I know it's hard to tell from a lot of the grasses that are growing through here, but things are doing good. The cantaloupe seems to be taking a hit. It's just been, I think it's just been too hot this year, y'all. There's Polly. Polly's doing well. It's just been too hot. We hit 100, I want to say yesterday and today here, so a lot for these plants to go through especially without shade so pretty sure I showed you guys the shade cloth I got up on this one side uh, we got more we can do on the other side as well so I need to get those rolling um, the pumpkin and the zucchini are jumping up pretty good and I got some parsley out of the walkway and put it up here in the bed so I love parsley in uh, vegetable salad. So, so the lettuces are still doing good. Greens are still doing good. Um, that's about it. Carrots were still rocking and rolling. These tomato plants over here are still doing good. So, you can tell how hot it got today. Everything's wilting pretty bad. But that's it. Got uh, three um, fig trees from a neighbor. Three starts I'm gonna hope hoping for. And that's a pawpaw tree. So our amaranth is still doing good. Along with all of our carrots. So still haven't tried to yank anything out of here yet, but I know they're doing good. That's it. Cooper's still doing well. Sam is doing well. April's doing okay today. Well, today she's having a bad day, but overall she's doing well. So, slowly removing these uh, pallets that are breaking and replacing them with gravel uh, from the front yard. So, it is what it is. I'm getting done what I can get done. And moving on from there. So. Hope you all are doing well in the world, wherever you are. And until we talk next time, y'all, stay safe wherever you are in the world. Much love.